Do you ever feel just stuck and you feel like giving up on your goals? Because you're working really hard trying to get to your goal. And there's just all these roadblocks and barriers and struggles along the way. And you're just not making the progress that you want. Well, if so, then this episode's for you because we're going to be talking about finding new ways to be able to achieve your old goals, finding new ways so that you can make the progress that you want and be able to achieve the things that you want for your life so that you can guide your life to go where you want it to go. Sometimes we got to find those new ways. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's episode. So stay tuned. This is the Enjoy Life Podcast. If you feel overwhelmed or stuck and you want to break free so that you can find your power to take action to achieve your goals and enjoy life, then you're in the right place. Welcome, my friend. I am glad that you're here. My name is Nick Maisie, and it's my desire to be your guide through this material so that you can choose your mindset, goals, and actions so you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want to go and enjoy it. Now let's dive right in. Welcome to the Enjoy Life Podcast and this episode on finding new ways to achieve those old goals. I'm glad you're here and joining in. Let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and dive right in. Now let me start off by just telling you a little bit of what's going on near my house. You know, right now near near my house they're uh, doing a lot of road work. They've actually got some on ramps and off ramps to the major highway near where I live uh, shut down so you can't get on or off the highway. And and that means that traffic is backing up uh, all all around the place and it, it's pretty bad oh. and so since traffic's backing up and, and that's something that I can't control I can't just make all the other cars disappear and since I still have to go places you know to work in the grocery store run errands and, and just pretty much anywhere else that I need to go I still need to go to those places so what I'm having to do is I'm having to find uh, alternative ways to get where I want to go, you know, either changing times or routes or making other adjustments and things like that. See, I can't always change where I need to go, but often I can make a little adjustment to the path I take to get there. So that is what I want us to talk about doing for our goals. See, we, we don't want to change our goals. Don't change when you're when you create those powerful goals that are important to you, that resonate with your values, that, that that are aligned with what you want in your life. Don't change the goal. Don't change that goal. There's going to be obstacles, roadblocks. You might be a little construction um, and a lot of traffic trying to get to your goal. And if that's the case, then what we can do sometimes is change the path we take to get there. You change the path, you don't change the goal. So you see how we see where I'm going with the, the, the traffic and the roadblocks and being able to get to your destination or applying that to our goals. So you can change the path to get to your goal. Just don't change the goal. So if your goal is really important to you, really important to you, then sometimes it's worth the little extra effort, attention and energy to find new ways so that you can make the adjustments and then you can get the, to be able to make the progress that you want to make, the progress that you need to make so that you can achieve your goals. So what are some areas that you can look at to be able to find new ways to achieve your goals? That's exactly what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about a few different ways or areas to look at finding new ways to make progress. Okay, I think I have seven here for you. So the first one, the first one is, are you able to find new steps? Just a new step. If you're stuck on a particular step, if you're not able to get past it or make some progress, then maybe you can just find a, a new step, something different that you can do in order to make that progress that you want to make. If uh, if you have a health goal that you're working on and, and you're really trying to exercise and it's you're just struggling with it and you're not being able to make any progress, then maybe trying different exercises is the ticket that you need so that you can make the progress that you want. It maybe not changing everything that you're doing, but just that that immediate next step. Any big worthwhile goal is going to take a lot of steps to get there. Sometimes we have a really good idea of exactly what's required. And sometimes, you know, we don't really have as good of idea. We know that goal that we're working toward. 
But sometimes, sometimes we got to adjust those steps. So if a particular step's hanging you up, try to find a new step. Other times, other times you might have to adjust the whole path. You might have to try a really you know, innovative, different way to get to your goal. That's where this is also where you know knowing exactly what you want, you know, and why you want it, you know, and what it's going to do for your life, and what's going to allow you to enjoy and experience. Really knowing a lot about that goal, it makes it so powerful that sometimes it'll actually even help you to find a different, completely different route to get there, so that you still can honor what you want for your life. And that for this episode, that mean, might mean finding a new path. So related to my uh, road work and traffic scenario I have at my house, you know, sometimes I can just take a, a small little detour and go around a little section of the traffic and then get back on and, and I'm all right. Other times I'm going to have to find a completely different way to get around it because it's so bad. That particular time of the day is absolute the, the worst and I need to find a completely different way to go. Making sure that I'm open to either making that small adjustment with that little detour, changing that one little step, or, or I might even have to be open to completely changing my route. When I'm open to either one, it allows me to adjust right then for what I need right then so I can make the progress that I need right then. And that might be the ticket for you making progress to your goals is being open to adjusting either that next small step or really looking at that whole plan and saying, hey, I got to make this adjustment. That's why you know, I got a saying I like to use sometimes. You know, that's write your, pen, your, your goals in pen and your plans in pencil. You know, because you got to be ready to adjust those plans as long as you're still zeroed in on that big goal that you have. You know, you can be able to make some progress going in the right direction. So we have steps that you might have to find. You might have to find new steps to get to those old goals. You might have to find a new path. You might also have to find some new effort, you know, some really finding something, something, anything that can get you energized, it get you jazzed up, you know, get you pumped up and motivated, and then get you to put in the effort. Now, this is particularly difficult when you've been pushing and you've been trying really hard and, and you're just not making that progress. Sometimes it's really difficult to step up that effort and really push harder. This is where finding new ways to get that effort out of yourself, to get yourself to really push hard towards your goal is difficult. That's why finding new ways can help give you that boost that you might need. It might be, you know, using some of the, some, some motivational speeches or, or talks. It might be getting some music going, whatever it is. You know, there's times when you have more energy to pursue your goals. Do your best to capitalize on that. And it might take getting a little creative to find new ways to, to really put forth that effort. But it can pay dividends. So if you have the new steps that you might be able to find. You have a new path that you might need to take. You have new ways to put forth effort to make that progress. And then also a new level of persistence. Now, this is the one that, that's... You know, nobody likes, um, or I shouldn't say nobody. It, it's it's not fun. It's not sexy. It's 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 just not giving up. It's that uh, that that very determined level of persistence where you are fully committed to your goal. This one is difficult. I, I know it. I know it. But this might be. You might have to find things to remind yourself of the true value of the goal that you're pursuing. So that no matter what, you will not give up. That's the level of persistence that can help you to make progress. Even if you're just trudging away at it and it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. The, the, the full commitment to your goal can help you to have the persistence that you need in order to, to just absolutely not give up. And then to be able to make the progress that you want by pushing through. Let me jump in here really quick. I just have to share with you that powerful goals can help pull you forward toward achieving them. They make taking action, doing the work, and, and actually making progress toward them easier because they're powerful. Like I said they pull you forward. So you got to make sure that your goals are powerful enough to help you to do the work necessary to make them a reality. And an easy way to check your goals 
is by using my seven point powerful goals checklist. Get the checklist for free, review your goals, and make sure they're as powerful as they can be so that way you can go toward the life that you want and enjoy life. Get the checklist at nickmazy.com slash goals seven. That's nickmazy.com slash G O A L S and then in the number seven. Now back to the episode. Okay. Okay. So what, what else can you find a new way to be able to pursue and achieve, make progress toward that old goal? Okay. What is it? The next one is new ways of asking for help. Got to be able to ask for help. Maybe you've asked people for help and you're still not making progress. Then, then find new people or new ways to be able to get the help that you need so that you can make the progress that you want. Asking for help is a skill. It is a skill and it is something that's very good to work toward. Is there a new way or a new person or a new source that you can go to to get the help that you need so that you can make the progress that you need and achieve your goals? Is there a new way that you can ask for help? So we have steps, paths, effort, persistence, asking for help. And then the next one is viewpoint. You might need to change your viewpoint. Finding a new way to look at the situation can be a great way to start to make progress again. This one really does pair up with the asking for help because sometimes, you know, if we're looking at something from one angle, you know, and that problem that we can't get past and we just can't make progress, sometimes we got to bring somebody else in because they're going to look at it a little bit different. So asking for help might be asking for help with what you're actually trying to do, those steps so you can make progress, or just asking for help to see how somebody that's knowledgeable, that knows about the goal you're trying to achieve, that say, hey, well, can you look at this and can you help me figure out why I can't make progress? They might be able to offer help in what you're trying to accomplish or just offer help by, hey, this is a different way to look at it. And that might help you figure out how to make some progress. All right, now the last one. We have have your skills. Skills. You might need some new skills. This might be a, a brand new skill. This might be improving a current skill. Whatever you're trying to achieve, it's going to take your ability to do something. Okay, so do you need to get better at that? Do you need to get better at the skill that your goal requires? You know, like I said, it might be learning a new skill. It might be improving the current skills that you have. Just ask yourself, hey, do I, do I need to get better at this skill? And then that's when you can be intentional with some of that deliberate practice and effort to improve in that area and not just continuing to hammer away trying to achieve that goal. That was it. Uh, Abraham Lincoln said something along the lines of, if you give me four hours to cut down a tree, I'm going to spend three of it sharpening my axe. See what he's talking about? He's talking about sharpening that skill that tool that he has that it's going to help him to achieve that goal. Well, maybe you need to hone that skill that you have, and that could be your new way to achieve your old goal. So finding new ways to make the progress that you need, that you want, so that you can achieve the goals that you have. It can be a great way to, to push through it and, and make some progress, especially when you've been stagnant for a little bit or getting frustrated and just not, doesn't really feel like you're moving forward. Find a new way, like finding new steps, a new path, a new way to put forth that effort, you know, uh, some, some new, a higher level, a new persistence to keep pushing. You might find uh, new ways to ask for help, or they might be able to help you to find new ways. Uh, you might need a new viewpoint or new skills. Your goals are important. They are worth achieving. You are powerful. You can take the next step. You just might need to find new ways to pursue those important goals that you have. But you can do it. You can do it. You can take action today. You can choose to not give up. And you can pick one. Pick one of these areas that we just talked about. You know, either the steps, the path, the effort, the persistence, the help, the viewpoint, or the skills. Pick one of those. And try to find a new way to approach it or use that so that you can make the progress that you want towards your goals so that you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want to go and enjoy it. 
That is what I want for you. And I'm finding a new way to, to get that for your life. If that will help, then I want you to do that. I'm a big fan of saying just pick one. Just pick one. Start there. Try it. And then hopefully get a little bit more progress. And then you can build on that. Well, that's what I have for today's episode. Now, I want you to find new ways to pursue those old goals. You might need to change the path, but you don't, don't change the goal. If that goal is important to you, don't change that goal. Just change the path to get there. That way you can achieve the things that you want for your life. Well, thank you for listening to the Enjoy Life podcast. I, I'm glad that you're here and joining in. You made it all the way to the end of the episode. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I can't wait to talk to you again soon. Take care. I want to take just a moment right here to say I am glad that you're here. I am glad that you're joining in, you're listening in, you're taking action, you're following through on some of the information that we talk about. You know, the one the pieces that apply to your life that resonate with you, you're doing something about it. Yeah, you know, and that, that that's awesome. I, I love that. I love that so much. Because I believe, I believe that you are powerful, you are capable. I believe you can claim your power to guide your life to go in the direction that you want to go and enjoy it. That's what this podcast is here and this is what my message is here for you to do. But I am counting on you a little bit. I'm counting on you to help share this message with other people. There's a million podcasts out there these days. And if you take just a moment, just one quick moment, you can help more people to find this message. You can either share it on social media or you can take a second and just give a rating and review. That way more people can find this, this podcast, this, this episode, and this message. I want this message to help you and I want it to help the people that you know that it might resonate with too. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for sharing this message. Thank you for being you. All right. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you again soon.